Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan. Our cameraman is Henry. Today we're going to show you the Palomino HS2910. Uh, a couple things before we get started. This is designed for the one truck, uh, one ton truck only with an eight foot bed. You do have the rear and the side awnings. Um, uh, also, we do order these in the cool gray. We can also get a white exterior if you would like. Uh, the reason we order these in cool gray is because the difference in the fiberglass. This is a heavy duty gel coated fiberglass where the white is more like a phylon material where you can actually see the fibers in it. So a um, couple things with that is this is easier to repair than the white and it does not show the black streaks as quickly as the white. So we'll get uh, started here in the back today. Your entry door is what they call a friction hinge door. So this is to withstand 20 mile an hour winds. We do not have latches here like we've had in the past that you forget to unlatch or to get brittle and break over time. You'll also see the entry door does have an integrated shade in the window of the entry door. You'll have your grab grab uh, handle. This is a fold assist grab handle at your entry door. You'll have your roof ladder to get up on the walkable roof. And while we're up here, we'll have the porch light here. And there's another bracket up above the porch light. This is for a backup camera, so it is prepped and ready for that if you'd like to add that additional option. Um, the, your awning here on both the side and the rear does have a leg right here where you can flip this out and attach to the bracket right here on the wall. for support. Okay, the max bumper. We do have the max bumper. It does have your flip up step right here for you. And it also has storage in the bumper on each side. And your electric jacks. They do come with your power jacks. Uh, these can be operated each individually, each jack individually, or if you want to run both jack or both uh, both jacks on the back, both of them on the side, or all four together. And that is all operated off of this remote. And I'll show you right here. Um, you'd have your right front jack, you lift or lower, or if you want to run both of them on that side or both front, and then the yellow uh, lift and lower would run all four. On the side here, we do have a 30 pound LP bottle for you. That is filled by the Outpost RV. Down below is your dump station. This is where your three inch uh, sewer dump does come out. Uh, you, uh, your shower, your gray and black tank would all be connected to that. And then on the back side here, I forgot to mention is your access panel to your plumbing. And this would be where your valves are to dump your your black and then your gray. Do have an outside shower along with your hot and cold right here. 30 amp connection. It does come with a detachable cord, so you have a separate cord that you uh, plug into here. It's not one that you're pulling out and shoving back in. Outside uh, electric outlet, your cable satellite hookups are right here. Your furnace vent does come with a 20,000 BTU furnace and then you have your um, tankless water heater. This here is 60% more efficient than the water heaters we've used in the past and you pretty much have endless water and almost uh, instantaneously hot water. So very nice upgrade there. City water connection, fresh water connection. Fresh water is where you would fill your uh, fresh water holding tank if you're dry camping and you turn on your water pump switch on the inside for your water source city water connection is actually they have these flipped around <laughs> this would be for your fresh water tank this is your city fill um, to fill your it, to hook up your water hose at a campsite okay this does also have your blue LED uh, speakers underneath your awning. It also has LED white light strip light underneath your awning and these are power uh, awnings and then I do have your support arms 
set up here for you to look at. These can also be set on the ground, and you could stake them in the ground if you'd rather do that. Way. On the front, we have your seven-way uh, female plug right here. It does come with this cord as well. This is the cord that runs back and plugs into the seven-way on your truck. And um, while you're plugged to your truck, it will charge your onboard batteries or if you're plugged into 110. Uh, we do also have a portable solar panel. If you do have a portable solar panel, you can alligator clip to this port to also uh, keep your batteries maintained. And then we also have a um, plug-in up on the roof. It is solar prepped, so if you'd like to add a solar panel up on the roof where you plug it in and leave it stationary, that can be done as well. You do have four inch tube bumpers here on the front. This is just so the front of the camper doesn't rub against the bed of your truck. So you do have a four inch bumper there and we're going to walk around the front, show you the front cap. There's not a lot to talk about here. This is a pre-molded fiberglass cap here in the front. They did um, dress it up on each side with line X for you. It does have the windshield in the front along with the LED strip light along the bottom to dress it up. And these do have the, uh, what they call the frameless windows in them. So you'll notice they are very tight fit against the unit. They look very dressy and they do open. So you do have cross ventilation. Uh, in the slide out area, we do have access underneath each dinette seat. You do have the magnetic catches for your compartment doors. So you can access uh, storage underneath the dinette seats from the outside. Here I do have the window open so you can see what the frameless windows look like when they're closed and open. And then down at the bottom is what we would call the short bed package. So this here would just have storage down in this wing that you can access from out here. I believe that concludes the outside of the Palomino HS2910 and now we'll move to the inside. Before we step on the inside you'll notice the step up as we go to the inside. This is a cavity in the floor where your holding tanks are so they are heated and enclosed so this is classified as a four seasons unit we have your dinette refrigerator in the slide out area we have your bed in the front and the cab over kitchen to the left and then the bathroom immediately to the left on the inside here in the back uh, we're going to go ahead and get started just inside the entry door back here just inside the entry door down here is your switch that you need to turn on for your electric jacks so this green light does need to be on for your electric jack remote to work there is a cord that comes along that you can plug into your remote that is just a charge cord uh, to keep the battery charged in the remote at the bottom you do have a battery disconnect so if you put the unit in storage and don't want your batteries to drain you could disconnect that and then you have your slide out switch above that just a cavity for storage um, there on the back wall to utilize. We have your dinette in the slide out area. This does sit, uh, the table does sit on pedestal, so you can remove that, put the table down, slide the cushions together for additional sleeping room if you'd like. You do have your 110 and gas refrigerator, it does have a separate freezer compartment. This is automatic, so it will automatically, if you put on auto, it will try for the 110 first. And if not available, or you have a power outage and you have your LP turned on, it will automatically kick over to the gas side and continue running. Also to the left of that is, again, just uh, some storage shelves for you. And... As we before we go up into the bed area, I do want to cover the step area here. That is removable, and down in that cavity is where your um, your water pump, your batteries, and all that is mounted in there for you. So we step up into the bed area. Do you have a privacy curtain? It is a queen bed, so it is your standard 60 by 80, and you do have a privacy curtain at your windshield in the front cap. Speakers on each side uh, throughout does have surround sound. A wardrobe on the right hand side does have your 
wardrobe rod in there. It also has a shelf at the bottom. Um, either you can use for storage down below or you can lift this up to hang longer clothes in there. Foot locker on each side and then you have your stand in, uh, in the front set items on and in the ceiling in the bed area you do have your Creative Breeze fan, fan and that does move a lot of air for you. Again foot locker on this side entertainment center right here at the foot of the bed again a cavity down below for extra storage your stereo and this is uh, Bluetooth has USB and also has a DVD player the TV is a 12 volt TV so you can uh, plug it in there is a charge port there in the back with along with USB ports and this is on a swinging arm so you can swing this out either to the bed area or to the dinette. Okay, I'm going to step back a little bit so you can see the kitchen area here a little better. So you have your base cabinets, you have pantry drawers on this side, microwave in the overhead, and we're going to get started in the overhead cabinets. So you do have overhead cabinet storage on this side of the entertainment. You have your microwave and then you have your pantry here. This does have your adjustable shelving in here. Uh, a little bit harder to see here. And then you also have a rod at the top if you like to take the shelves out and hang more uh, clothes in here. Have a bank of two drawers down at the bottom. You have your drawer at the bottom of your oven. Nice large drawer. And this does have a stove top cover. Uh, this is a bifold cover, so you can fold this back out of the way. And it does have your three burner stove top. Hard surface countertops here in the 2910 does have your large uh, stainless steel single bowl sink. And it does come with a sink cover. Uh, this does roll up, so you can put plates in here to dry and or use it as a sink cover for more countertop space. We see okay down here in the base cabinet is your furnace so this is a direct dump furnace it is not ducted. The panel that you see right here I'm going to talk about this a little bit uh, this is an access panel to get into the plumbing and wiring in here they do have a hinge on the top and bottom because of uh, code violations they cannot put a handle on here so that is why you have a hinge at the top and the bottom and then you have a drawer to the right. Swinging on back to the bathroom area before we move into that I want to talk about the control panel you'll also see there's speakers in the ceiling back here um, but this is your control panel for your water heater so you can adjust the temperature and turn it on and off this is your thermostat for the furnace and then we have your monitor panel. This is where your water pump switches, your uh, heat pads to your holding tanks, your interior, exterior light switches, your awning switches. And then down here at the bottom, this switch right here is for your LED light on the front cap. In the bathroom is what they call a wet bath. So you have your toilet shower combo. Nice large countertop medicine cabinet and then you have shower curtains skylight and a bath fan I believe that covers everything on the inside of the Palomino 2910 I'll do one more uh, brief walkthrough for you here Again, we are the Outpost RV. You can contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Again, my name is Phelan, and thank you for watching.